Hello and welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. Still running some uh, some breaker tests, things like that. Trying to find a, a good reliable budget brand breaker. Um, doing a little different experiment today. I'm getting the rest of the energy out of this greener power battery. I've only charged it one time, but doing all these videos that's been out the last few days has been off of one charge on this battery. So I'm taking the rest of the energy instead of converting it to heat with the uh, the dryer, the hair dryer, the inverter killer. I'm just keeping the inverter going, giving it, you know, giving it a run, run some more time on it, logging logging hours on the inverter to test its long-term reliability. And I've uh, been running running a couple of year tests on this little thing, and that's just a little trooper too. So I'm just harnessing the rest of the energy out of this battery before I recharge it. I'm gonna bring it all the way down as far as it'll go, and then, uh, you know, just more testing and taking the energy where I can use it again, trying to capture some of it, economizer if you will. But uh, that leads me to today's topic. I wanna to talk about the un unsung hero of the last few videos. That is this beast right here, this greener power lithium iron phosphate battery. So I've been absolutely slamming this battery, um, putting huge loads on it. I still haven't charged it yet since I started all these breaker tests and things. So its capacity is holding pretty good. As you saw in that previous clip, I'm you know, robbing the rest of the energy out of it to uh, recycle it back into a power station. But yeah, we got 1.28 kilowatts or 1,280 watt hours worth of juice in this thing. And as far as, as cycle life and capacity, Greener Power is claiming with 100% depth of discharge you have 4,000 cycles and you up to 15,000 cycles if you only do 60% depth of discharge and more cycles equals more fun so that's got a lot of a lot of potential in there especially in a small compact you know budget friendly battery uh, they're rated to go up to 20 kilowatt pack and series and parallel so you could stack a whole pile of these up and get a huge uh, power bank for your solar needs, or if you're uh, you know, into RVs or uh, boats, things like that, this would be a good little trolling motor battery, or you know, switch over your RV to lithium. There's all kinds of options, especially considering it's such a small, compact Group 24 uh, size. I brought out a Group 31, which is your standard. If you're looking on Amazon and places for a standard uh, lithium iron phosphate battery, most of them are this size frame right here, a Group 31. And where the greener power is a group 24 you can see the height is exactly the same the width is the same just the the group 31s are you know a good bit longer than the group 24s so if you're building a big solar battery bank and you're stacking these in you know you start saving that much room that's going to save you a lot of a lot of space allow you to stack more capacity so you know you could build a build a killer 51.2 volt pack for your 48 volt inverters things like that with these and save a lot of room and it comes a nice of course nice carrying handles right here i don't know if you've seen that before or noticed that but got a good set of handles to move it around versus uh versus straps like some competitors uh comes with terminal bolts terminal covers uh you know and and no weird graphics or nothing like that i think a lot of the some of the graphics on them are kind of goofy but this one is just nice and clean it just tells you you know their brand and the capacity and you know just just simple and it just works i've gone over some of the specs in my previous videos using this battery but it's 22.6 pounds uh continuous charge of 100 amps continuous discharge of 100 amps it'll surge to 200 amps for three seconds or go to 300 amps for 31 milliseconds as the bms disconnect it's got short circuit protection high temperature protection high current protection it does not have low temperature protection now, as far as low temperature protection is concerned I always try to maintain a, a controlled environment for my lithium batteries. Since I have a huge solar battery bank, uh, I take measures and precautions to keep the batteries from getting out of a you know normal temperature range. I'll try to maintain 50 Fahrenheit to 80 Fahrenheit is where I where I try to maintain my lithium battery bank. So if you're going to see below freezing temperatures on your battery, um, this may not be the battery for you. So that's that would be the only only drawback I can see. But then again, I don't see that because I maintain a, a climate controlled area because when I've invested all the money into a lithium battery, I want to do everything I can to not let it freeze. So let's see what the current price of the greener power 
12 volt 100 amp hour group 24 battery is right now so there's a little I'll show you a couple of little little their old brochure ads here some of the stuff they got on their website showing a little nice illustration of their their cutaway of the prismatic cells and uh, bms location that kind of thing which is pretty cool to see in a couple of uh, use case scenarios if you will and there's some dimensions so instead of me tape measuring i figured it'd be better for you to if you need the dimensions you can look at it right here and uh you know 22.57 i think i said 22.6 but uh not too bad going off just memory so what's the price right now 229.99 and then a 15 dollars coupon and then a five percent off promo code so let's see what that works out to be that comes out to be two hundred and four dollars and twenty four cent or one hundred fifty nine dollars and fifty six cent per kilowatt hour so as you can see in that previous clip that uh price is real good it's one of the cheapest ones or most you know lowest price ones on amazon at the moment considering you're getting a group 24 battery you know smaller compact size instead of the big group 31s so uh you're just a good all-around value battery uh, no complaints uh, i can't think of anything to gripe about on this battery i guess my only gripe would be is i don't have about three more of them to make a 51.2 volt pack out of them and and really throw uh, throw some loads on it um, but yeah just a great battery and uh, appreciate greener power sending this to test and you'll see it in more videos more testing and if anything arises down the road that i don't like i'll update you with it so thank you all for watching the awkward mountain homestead uh, appreciate if you hit that like button if I earned it. Questions put in the comments and hope you have a wonderful day.